All right, well, we got a serious problem. I have my first security breach at the cabin. He's right there. that but there's a squirrel up in my eaves right now it's the first time i've ever had a critter get up there the thing about squirrels is that once they get up into your eaves they can really wreak havoc on the whole cabin and i realize if i shoot this squirrel it's not going to fix the problem the problem is is that my eaves aren't squirrel proof so rather than kill this squirrel we're going to squirrel proof the cabin this weekend don't get me wrong i do a lot of hunting and fishing out here but if i'm going to kill something it's because i'm going to eat it however i'm not super stoked about doing a building project at negative five well, the first thing we got to do is get up there and take some measurements and see how big the gaps are between the rafters. This ladder is not quite big enough for me to get all the way up there. I might have to get my 16 footer out. First, I got to get this one out of the snow. You know what? This ladder's too heavy. Let's try a different one. I do have one more ladder that might work. That's pretty good. Ooh, it's a little sketchy. As you can see, the problem is the stuff I put in originally wasn't wide enough. And so instead of doing it right, I just lapped them and taped them, which was really stupid because anything can get through there. So that was just my rushed younger self, not doing things the right way. And now I'm paying the price for it. You know, a really interesting thing I just noticed while I was up here, up in here, there's a hornet's nest. This is gonna be a tricky job. All right, well, I went into town and I picked up this um, hardware cloth. This will hopefully do the job. So I'm gonna use my tin snips to cut this stuff and then we'll cut this thing out and see if we can't tack it up there. first piece I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut diagonally in on these edges okay so now I got these edges scored so I can kind of fold fold these in like that that's actually surprisingly good now I'll see if we can pop this thing in there all right so here's what we got going on I have the first piece put in but now my problem is right here because there's a gap underneath here and I can't get the cloth to go down. So I'm gonna snip here. I can kinda tuck that guy in there. I have no idea what I'm doing. Hope you guys just realize that you really don't have to know how to do it to do it. You just do it, and then you know how to do it. One down, 20 to go. Okay, well that was total chaos. I just dropped my stapler. It hit a bottle of lighter fluid, busted it open, spilled lighter fluid all over everything. Then I just knocked my GoPro in the snow. Everything's falling apart. All right, well I just did something else super stupid. I just washed off my metal staple gun with water. As soon as I got outside, it's gonna freeze solid and stop working. So that was super dumb. So now I gotta take it apart and try it out. <sighs> that was really stupid. Man, I'm really lucky that stapler didn't break my window when I dropped it. It's right there and it just went whoop. Easily could have broke my window. Instead, it landed right on a bottle of lighter fluid. And you can see that squirrel's been making a mess out of stuff up here. This is Squirrel Town USA, baby. I'm gonna go inside and warm up a little bit. I actually just realized I'm super cold and uh, I'm gonna have a hot cup of coffee and come back.
Cheers. Okay, starting to look good. So I think I've kind of got the bending of this figured out. Start with the uh, smaller edges, and I just kind of get it started. And you can kind of just fold it over with your hand like that. And then the trick here is that you want to take this little corner and fold it this way first. That way this one can lay down. Then I can take this one, fold that corner. Now I have all my attachment points folded over and ready to go. Believe it or not, it's only five o'clock, but it's pretty much dark out. It's that time of year where the days are definitely short. So I wanna go ahead and gas up the generator and fire up the cabin lights. And Norm said, let there be light. Let's head around to the back of the cabin. This is the last piece. I'm super tired. I've been going absolutely all day. It's well below zero again. Anyway, just about done. So I'm gonna get this last piece tacked in, start cleaning up. All right, well, I am absolutely smoked. It feels pretty good to know that I've got the eaves blocked off and I don't think that squirrel's gonna be able to get back in. Just saw the fat little sucker come running up. He scooted up to the top and then I saw him come back down and head off into the woods. You can see his little tracks coming up over that snow right Right there, I think it might have worked. Whew. Makes it all worth it right there. Yeah. 